We are Julie and Martin and we live on our narrowboat Rhapsody in Blue. Join us on our journey as we go through some stunning scenery, tunnels, we meet wildlife on the way, as we cruise the inland waterways of the UK. Hi everyone, hope you're well. Thanks again for joining us. I um, hope you're all getting ready for Christmas. It's nearly there, aren't we? Um, this video sees us going across the Ponkasilti Aqueduct. Um, no dramas, just a beautiful journey all the way through to the Llangollen Basin. Um, uh, next week's video is going to be slightly different um, because it's going to be us taking out our old multi-fuel uh, stove and installing our new reflex diesel stove. So that'll be slightly different. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining us and hope you enjoy the video. So here we go. I don't even like walking across it, never mind. Uh, <laughs> There's a sheer drop down there. Look at that view. Wow. Oh, look at it behind. Wow. You okay, darling? Huh? You okay? No. <laughs> and there you go. Oh, and look at that. There's the viaduct over there. Look at that. Beautiful. Hey, you enjoyed it? Yeah, so we're just turning left after the front of Silty. And Silty is that away. And we're now 
going on their final stretch to Van Gogh and Basie. Here we go. So we're on our way now. We've uh, done the aqueducts. We've had a fantastic day. Um, Chirk Aqueduct was a bit challenging. Um, Chirk Tunnel was very challenging. <laughs> Um, the other tunnel wasn't too bad, White House Tunnel, that wasn't too bad. And then Pont, Pont Casilte Aqueduct was absolutely fantastic. We have loved it, absolutely loved it. We've just got our diesel, water, had a pump out and got rid of rubbish all at Anglo Welsh and we're now on our way. So yeah, we're, we're in search of a mooring now. Look at that. Gorgeous. So it's been a beautiful day today, but um, that sun's starting to go down. The temperature literally plummets. It is now quite cold, <laughs> shall we say. It's actually sort of half light at the moment because it's starting to get dark. It's four o'clock. Uh, the camera seems to lighten it up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're very high and yet everything is towering above us. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. We nearly turned round and went back the other way, back across the Pont Casilste, but we've decided, no, we're gonna do this. We've come all this way. We may as well go and do the whole thing. I seem to be losing my voice. Martin's over <coughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't know who's gonna do that. No, Martin's over the mood, over the moon even. sure what these cutouts are for. I'm sure somebody will tell me or I'll see if I can find out and uh, I'll put something, a little caption up. But yeah. Wow, so it's practically dark now. And apparently up here on the left-hand side should be some moorings. We're gonna be right next to a busy road. That's gonna be good. It won't bother us though, trust me. 
Well, this is a first for us. We're mooring up in the dark, but we found a mooring right near a pub and they do food. So yeah, here we go. We're just leaving this mooring outside the Sun Trevor pub. Uh, we didn't go in the pub last night. It was absolutely awful weather. And unfortunately there was a really bad accident. Um, it was, oh God, it was a horrendous smash. Sirens were going, so we don't know whether it was a police chase or whether it was the police car that actually um, had a head on, but there was blue lights, fire engines, ambulances, all sorts, all night. The road didn't open till the early, early hours of the morning, so about four o'clock this morning, so something wasn't right. Okay, anyway, we are now leaving this mooring. Not quite sure what's going on here. I think the uh, current has pushed Martin back in, so might have to just push away at the front. I'm now walking forward because it gets very narrow down here. Martin's waiting for me to let him know if it's clear or not. Yeah, we had a lot of rain last night, so we have a lot of puddles, <laughs> but we've got a window of sunshine. So we're making a break for it and hopefully we'll get to the Sangrotan Basin dry. I've got my silly out with me just in case and yeah, Martin's following in the boat. I'm just about to see him I think. Uh, I'm trying to get ahead, see if there's anyone coming. Catch you later. Oh, look at that for a view, how gorgeous is that with the River Dee down there, beautiful. I've just come through um, the narrows and it widens back up again here. Sorry about the road. I mean, it is stunning here. I'm sorry to keep using the same word, but Martin is going to have to negotiate that bridge with quite a sharp bend. Martin in the background, He's struggling with the current. Look at that. A bench carved out of that old log. How cool is that? and film while I'm walking so I'm apologies if it's a bit dirty. I don't know if you can see it's sheer rock at the sides so Martin's got to do some uh, clever clever driving so yeah I'm walking hopefully I'll get to the end of these narrows this one's a bit longer um, but obviously this is a bit more severe. So I need to get to the other end to stop anything coming the other way. So I'm walking as quick as I can. And what I do not want to see is a bow of a boat. <laughs> oh, surely to goodness, the, oh my word. And now let's just keep going. Okay, I'll keep going then. So I've got to the other side of the uh, narrows an hour a bit and uh, there's all these linear moorings so you can book these for winter for the, you know the, the harsh winter months November December January and February um, through the CRT Canal and River Trust um, and if anybody else is moored here they you take priority if you've booked one of their moorings so yeah, how cool is that? We're going to go on to the basin and hopefully find some, find a nice mooring.
enjoying the scenery. Lovely. Ah, beautiful. been standing here for the last 10 minutes or so but he's fighting against the current I wouldn't mind betting that they've uh, opened the sluices again because we had quite heavy rain last night you can just see Martin coming there Hopefully he's going to pick me up now. Did you enjoy that? Yeah? <laughs> where you can get boat trips from it's a pretty little place isn't it beautiful might walk back here you know we are almost there just up here on the right hand side is where we're going we're just going to have that mooring space that's just becoming free so that will be amazing wow this looks stunning here Lovely. Hi Gary, give us a wave. 
<laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> but I'm going to stop filming now and help more up. <laughs> Just look at this. Just look. Wow. Across the Pumpkill Aqueduct. Wow. 